Hello guys, welcome back to another LS VDFR tutorial. Today, guys, we are going to be seeing what to do if our if when we install a mod or a plugin in GDF5 and it stops <coughs> to work. And GDF5, I'm um, sorry, I just yep. And it stops to work. What do we do? Um, so now, for example, today I installed these files. Um, I was trying to install um, coastal callouts. My bad. Yeah, I was trying to install coastal callouts today, and um, I added them to my GDFI main directory. And I'm gonna show you what happens every time I try to every time I try to pull up GDFI. This is what happens. So now this happens, of course. And now this is meant to happen. Now when I click yes. It's going to keep loading. Nothing's ever going to happen. Um, there's going to be a message here that the that my PC has started its gaming mode. It's going to keep loading for a while and nothing's going to happen, guys. It's going to go back to normal. Yep, there we go. There's the gaming mode sign. I, I'm not skipping this part because I want to show you guys this is actually happening. I actually I do have an error with my game and there we go see it failed to run it says it's running gd5 never loaded up you can see i don't have it here i can run task manager for you guys you can see nothing is running gd5 is not running only epic games launcher is running nothing guys i'm sorry for that um gd5 is not running guys as you can see it's back to launch now how do you fix this now as I said guys today itself I installed um, coastal callouts which has all of these um, files all of these files were added to my GD5 main directory and now after this game mode the game is not loading now you do now for you guys it might be different so now how do you distinguish between if there's an error with your game files or with the plugin you've installed or with a plugin issue? So now guys, if your game loads up in the sense what I mean to say is if your story mode is loading up, if you can go in game, if you can play the story mode if you, or and or if you can play online and if you can play a mod, that means if a game starts crashing when you pull up a mod, then that way you have a problem with one of the following so this can be the rage plugin or, or the script hook 5 or open iv or script hook 5.net or rage native ui or simple trainer or one of those gazillion things or simply lsvdfr or one of your plugins but like right now guys our game is not loading up so our game itself even as, as i showed you guys from epic our game itself is not pulling up we cannot also play online or we can't play story mode either so that means we have a problem with our game files and not a plugin file so this cannot be a plugin issue it cannot be a rage issue it, it's not a script hook 5 not script hook 5.net issue this is an issue that these files these mods have caused with our gda files now again you guys might have very different files but the way i like to do it is um first and foremost guys whenever i cannot emphasize on th emphasize on this enough i've said it in every video of mine but guys please whenever you install gda5 if you're doing it for the first time right now or even if you have and it's working i really highly suggest you to copy and back up your clean copy of the game now the reason i installed the disk at first is because i'm sorry for this guys um there we go i have a clean copy i mean i wouldn't say clean i'm it's still adjusted to a lot of things but this gda5 that i have right here on my hard drive this is fully working and it's fully tested and it's and i can go and i can play plugins with these and so this this file this backup that i have of gda5 on my hard drive here is a fully working copy and i really highly suggest you guys that you guys should get it too you guys should whenever you clean install gda you should always 24 7 have it on you 
because you never know modding the modding wor world is crazy guys you can a gazillion things can go wrong and as I've also stated in my previous videos your game file your game directory is a very very fragile place to play around with so if you don't know what you're doing or if you do anything wrong even if you move a file to the wrong place GDA will stop working so to prevent you guys from doing a fresh install of the game really it's easier just get a USB put your GD in that and then make all the changes you want to the game so even if you haven't done it yet you can do it right now anyway now getting back guys um, so guys uh, now after I've installed coastal callouts and again as I said it, it is gonna be different for you if you've not installed coastal callouts like me I want to see what new folders or files were created during this process. Now guys, this is only a video when you install a plugin and it, the game stops working. My full game started working. This is a video on how to fix it. Now this is a sort of a hidden trial here. So what I like to do is <clears throat> I'm going to see and compare uh, because I remember, I vividly remember what my game didn't have before. So. Um, of course, I my this is not our game. This is my game. So I know that my older game didn't have two of these folders. One is mod manager because L this coastal callouts added it and this LML folder. Now after removing these, I know if I go down, I know I didn't have this. I know what else did I have? Again, guys, as I said, this is a this is a hidden trial, guys. You can never know. Uh, okay, so now uh, now you go into the plugins folder. It is going to be here somewhere. Uh, okay, you know what? We're just going to go to yeah. There we go. Plugins folder, and now I'm going to go into plugins LSVD FR. Sorry, my bad. LSPDFR, and now we have these call out. All of our mods are installed here. So, whatever you have a problem with, guys, it's probably 100% going to be here. So, if you have a problem with your mods, where because of whatever reason you're here, it's probably in this folder. All your mods plugins are all saved in this folder. So, now I'm going to remove the ones I don't need anymore. So, um,. I can go to plugins, LSPDFR again. I don't want to move any files over here. Uh, nope, 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 nope. No coastal callouts. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I think this is good. This is good. Um, and there was a VFS file that I wanted to move right now. So, yep, there we go. Parks tool, I think I added this today too. Yep. Just gonna hover around here to know when I created this. There we go. Created six chan, I'm gonna move this. And no, I'm not gonna move this. Okay, um, I feel good about this. Let's run our game. Okay, my ping. Everything that was created today, all of this, you can see all of this was created today. All of this was created on 6th Jan, which is today. So you don't want to delete the important one, so I don't want to delete open IV script hook five, any of that. Okay, I have a good feeling about this. Let's launch the game and check if the game launches. We have deleted the corrupted files. Let's see if the game loads. Again, guys, I cannot emphasize emphasize this enough that this is only what's wrong with my game. Your game can have a trillion other things wrong. Now, what I did is I reverse tracked all the plugins or the mods I downloaded today according to the date, and I outright deleted them 
and again guys this is only when you download a mod and your GDA is not working for me even the story mode is not working and there we go our GDA has started working so we have successfully removed the there we go guys so now this is the fix guys when you download a plugin or when you download a mod it can be very different for the both of us so now my GDA on my GDA story mode wouldn't load up and now it does for you it might crash I made a separate video on that and probably if it's crashing even after the video you watched the video the two videos I made if it's still crashing let me let me go ahead and um, so yeah if you're whatever if your video still if your if your game still crashing after that maybe removing uh, let me just show it to you guys real quick okay so over here as I said this is your main folder where a folder where all of your plugins and mods are stored now if you have a problem with plugins it's 99% gonna be here if you don't have a problem with plugins, if you have a problem with say rage, it's all going to be in your game files, and that is why we always leave a clean copy with us near us whenever we need it. So I know it can take a time. It took me 35 minutes to copy all my game files on my external hard drive, but trust me, guys, it's worth it. Right now we can fix the game. I fixed the game for me right now, but for you later we might not be able to fix the game. So it's always safer to have safe copy. Again, guys, I cannot at the risk of leaving. I know whatever problem you're having is different than mine, but I think the best bet you have if you don't want to crash and call your game is you want to backtrace, backtrack all your um, plugins you've done. You can probably delete them or read them anymore, but um, all of the plugins you've installed, you want to backtrace them, backtrack them, and then delete them. So you can do that. I'm going to exit out of GTA 5. So yeah, backtrack. Oh god. Okay, no thanks. So yeah, backtrack your files, guys, and then the safest bet you have on doing that is by arranging your files, and then you have all of this. Now don't don't delete all the important ones. Like this one looks important because it's Rage plugin hook. I don't want to delete a Rage plugin or the script hook, or game backups, or don't really know what this does, or Rage plugin hook, all of the or easy hook. You don't want to delete all of these files. You only want to delete the ones that don't look important again guys have a backup please i think that's going to be it guys for today if i helped you out or if you had a similar issue that this was just there to troubleshoot and solve your similar issues i keep creating videos like this guys so please do 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 subscribe and like please helps me out really makes me happy i love helping you guys out but stay tuned for new videos thanks for watching again and catch you later